<laughs> I love those hockey moms. You know, they say the difference between a hockey mom and a pit bull? Lipstick. <laughs> because I wanted to make my kids' public education even better. And when I ran for city council, I didn't need focus groups and voter profiles because I knew those voters, and I knew their families, too. Before I became governor of the great state of Alaska, I was mayor of my hometown. And since our opponents in this presidential election seem to look down on that experience, let me explain to them what the job involves. I guess... I guess a small town mayor is sort of like a community organizer, except that you have actual responsibilities. in small towns, we don't quite know what to make of a candidate who lavishes praise on working people when they're listening and then talks about how bitterly they cling to their religion and guns when those people aren't listening. candidates who don't talk about us one way in Scranton and another way in San Francisco. As for my running mate, you can be certain that wherever he goes and whoever is listening, John McCain is the same man. Well, I'm not a member of the permanent political establishment. And I've learned quickly these last few days that if you're not a member in good standing of the Washington elite, then some in the media consider a candidate unqualified for that reason alone. But... commentators, I'm not going to Washington to seek their good opinion. I'm going to Washington to serve the people of this great country.
us to go to Washington for the right reason and not just to mingle with the right people. Politics isn't just a game of clashing parties and competing interests. The right reason is to challenge the status quo, to serve the common good, and to leave this nation better than we found it. expects us all to agree on everything, but we are expected to govern with integrity and goodwill and clear convictions and a servant's heart. And I pledge to all Americans that I will carry myself in this spirit as Vice President of the United States. when I took on the old politics as usual in Juneau, when I stood up to the special interests and the lobbyists and the big oil companies and the good old boys, suddenly I realized that sudden and relentless reform never sits well with entrenched interests and power brokers. That's why true reform is so hard to achieve. But with the support of the citizens of Alaska, we shook things up. And in short order, we put the government of our state back on the side of the people. I came to office promising major ethics reform to end the culture of self-dealing. And today that ethics reform is the law. While I was at it, I got rid of a few things in the governor's office that I didn't believe our citizens should have to pay for. That luxury jet was over the top. I put it on eBay. drive myself to work and I thought we could muddle through without the governor's personal chef although I got to admit that sometimes my kids sure miss her <laughs> I came to office promising to control spending by request if possible but by veto if necessary Senator McCain also he promises to use the power of veto in defense of the public interest. And as a chief executive, I can assure you it works. Our state budget is under control. We have a surplus. And I have protected the taxpayers by vetoing wasteful spending, nearly half a billion dollars in vetoes. We suspended the state fuel tax and championed reform to end the abuses of earmark spending by Congress. I told the Congress, thanks but no thanks on that bridge to nowhere. If our state wanted to build a bridge, we were going to build it ourselves. When oil and gas prices went up dramatically and filled up the state treasury, I sent a large share of that revenue back where it belonged, directly to the people of Alaska. And despite fierce opposition from oil company lobbyists who kind of like things the way that they were, we broke their monopoly on power and resources. As governor, I insisted on competition and basic fairness to end their control of our state and return it to the people.